to Sura TV. I'm Brenda Kata. Yo, you enjoy the most. Welcome back. Welcome to 2021. This is our very first video for 2021. We were supposed to have actually posted it last week due to technical problems that challenge me so we couldn't post last week but we are posting today we are posting this week and we're gonna start it off with financial goals for 2021 right this is disclaimer and guys uh, this is not financial advisory if you actually need financial advisory um specifically for you and customized for you please contact air qualified and accredited um, financial advisory firms to actually help you with that we are also an accredited firm at Suara Consulting BQ accredited we can actually do um, financial um, literacy trainings and advisory um, for you so if you actually need that for your employees or if you need that for your individual self feel free to contact us and we'll help you with that yeah welcome back guys so let's get into it financial goals for 2021 how can one plan for their financial goals for 2021 now what this one is going to be um a little more different guys it's going to be because this time we're informed i believe that 2020 was a year of lessons it was a year of um that actually opened our eyes on how we're actually going to plan and it also opened our eyes on the importance of actually having plans in place um you know particularly emergency funds the importance of that was actually um, a lesson for for us for 2021 i think it also taught us on how we can live without a lot of stuff yeah how to do things differently how we can actually work from home it's actually doable and we can actually still get the job done yeah so how has um how can we now plan for 2022 going forward it's very very important for us to reflect on the previous year how was the previous year how did it affect you um financially last year what can you uh, and however way that it affected you last year it's important that it's going to contribute towards your plans this year so that you can do better right when you know you do better right so that's what um the conversation we're going to be having today basically about the plans how was your 2021 i'm um, sorry your 2020 your 2020 was it uh, bad financially for you what did you not have enough um emergency funds or you actually had emergency funds and um you know it really you really had to stretch or you really noticed that you know what i think i will need more emergency funds than the, the amount that i had actually saved or i did not have any emergency funds at all so this is now we're going to be um, doing that today how we're going to do that but it's very important that every single thing that you plan for or financial goals it's important that you have a plan on what how you're going to do it and where do you start with your plan right you reflected already on 2020 now how can we do this going forward how can you how do you want to do things differently going forward very first step plan for your money give your job your money a job good basically that means setting the financial goals the goals actually writing down what do i want to do um this year and going forward because as much as we're planning for financial goals of 2021 um i would like to also include uh, beyond 2021 short-term goals as well as long-term goals because for 2021 it will definitely be short-term um so and we're going to divide um those into short-term and long-term short term would be for example six months to a year what do you want to have achieved this year from february between february and december or between january we're still in january to december what do you want to have achieved that will um, directly affect or not even necessarily affect your financials your finances but that most of the goals that we normally have actually directly affect our finances and how can we do better right so then what can we do and how can you plan that now between now and six months what are what kind of plans can you have in place you can actually say you know what i want to lose some weight like i do <laughs> um what can you do what how can i do that in the most um uh, financially efficient way that means you know what rather than going to the gym rather i would rather than um walk or take a jog in my neighborhood and actually um you got in going to youtube and actually use some of the fitness videos and exercise that is the most um how much do i actually save from that i actually save about between 300 pula and 500 pula depending on how much your gym is 
and that money can go towards where my emergency funds right um, or it can go towards me saving for my children's school fees or whatever that you would like to do or education right that's exactly how you plan around it and you say um, I would like to increase maybe one of your goals I'd like to increase my emergency funds I'd like to increase my savings and investments um, for my children's education or my holidays in case I want to go for a holiday next year when everything is over <laughs> um, you like to go for a holiday or you would like to buy a new home I would like to save up for the deposit over it so how can you do that when you feel like your budget is too tight and you have no idea how to maneuver that around how can you do that very first step is obviously to reduce your expenses guys we've talked about this and I'll continue I will not stop educating you about this that it all starts where you have to reduce your expenses and as well as creating other sources of income this is um, creating other stream of income for yourself as well to increase your current income as well as living below your means so that you have a bit of access for you to be able to invest then actually achieve the life that you desire right now once we have done that as well now we've given our, our, our money a job we have um, as well as planned on on is there going to be short-term goals as well as long-term goals now the the most important part as well when you're setting a goal is when would I want to have really reached my goal you know when we say six months when in six months in January so that means what it's June so that means by June Lorato, I should have lost so much weight. So what do I need to do for me to have lost that weight? But I need to give it a date, right? As well, I would like to increase my emergency savings. By how much? It's very important for you to be very specific. By how much would you want to have increased your emergency? Or by how much do you want to actually save up for your children? And then you actually set the date or maybe by the end of December, I want to have, I don't know, 10,000 Bula in my children's education account for instance that is um where you start so you need to give them a date their long-term goals and um, you need to also um, set them uh, in short term and long term and then also you need to be specific on the date that you would like to have achieved them and then what actions are you actually going to take on achieving those um, goals like I have already mentioned if you want to actually increase your income that means you're gonna need to reduce your expenses so that what and how do you reduce expenses you remove the things that you can do without I'm sure we, a lot of us can do without a lot of things I'm sure that's one thing that we've learned last year what can you do without that you're currently paying for and that money can go towards the plans that you actually have yeah and then another way of also doing it is also by um, having another source of income possibly have a side hustle of some sort um, I don't know sell um, cookies start cooking and selling your food or just use your skill I always say start from where you are actually good what, what are you good at guys another one thing I'll tell you that I'm good at is talking and the other thing that I'm also good at is math so those are one of the things that I do that is why I also do finances and accounting and as well as talking and advising people and consulting and trainings because that's what I'm good at so that's what uh, my skill would be and actually sell that and make my streams of income right so that's how you do it you just learn how you just need to figure out what are you good at and what can you do to monetize it that would be your other stream of income even when you're employed you can do use it after hours guys you can actually use it even during um uh, the weekend or whatever yeah so that, that's what basically what you want to do remember your goals can vary from anything such as buying a home like i said uh, it can also be remodeling your home maybe you want to just remodel it make it look good or maybe you want to clear that debt your debt quicker you want to give to charity whatever that you want to do or maybe you want to get married I don't know. Maybe you want to get married soon. So that's another thing that um, you'd want to plan for, you know, um, and save up for it. And maybe you want to have children. You'd want to plan for that as well and actually um, and, and help yourself. You might also maybe want to relocate or you want your children to go overseas for education or outside the country. Those are things, financial plans that you need to make for. So, so goals are different and um, you just need to know how to um, plan for them and actually make sure that you have the available funds like i've mentioned how can you avail the funds for your dreams yeah 
so that's, that's that's basically it that's how you plan for your um financial goals for 2021 so guys if you actually need um you know any other advice on what we can do for you um uh, personal finance wise personal finance training wise give us a call um you know or just give me a dm of my number is 712 970 or email me at lorato at com for any inquiries regarding personal finances or accounting so that we can actually or even tax advisors so we can help you with anything that has to do with your money right bye for now